Trees that had provided so much of the area's beauty had been used by Frederick as battering rams. Down trees damaging, but also the 100 plus mile per hour winds. Yeah, those gusts overturning a mobile home in Grand Bay, killing a four year old. Brendan Kirby has the story. Eula Arlene Bosarge, just four at the time, hunkered down with her mother and sister inside the trailer home of a friend in Grand Bay on September 12th. Her death that terrible evening was the only one in Alabama directly attributed to the storm. Eula's father, Lawrence Bosarge, never has talked publicly about that storm until now. He recalls trying to get his ex-wife to stay with him, his brother, and his mother. I tried to get her to come to the house where we were at. Miles away, Bosarge could only hope and pray as the storm inflicted a beating on Southern Mobile County. We would open the front door and it sounded like a train coming. You could hear the pine trees outside snap, just like a pencil. Back at the trailer on Bow Road Extension near Ramsey Road, Linda Bosars tried to get Eula and her six-year-old sister to go to the safest part of the trailer. But the sister, Jenny Williams, now 46 and living in Pascagoula, recalls Eula running to the kitchen instead. My sister wasn't wanting to go to the bathroom, to the bathtub. So the trailer started shaking and stuff, and, and everything just started tilting. And all I remember is it just started turning over. Williams says her mother managed to get her to the car in a last minute attempt to flee the winds, but the trailer flipped before Eula could get out. Lawrence Bosarge says his ex-wife had trouble finding the little girl in the darkened trailer. She was hollering, you know, but she couldn't find her. She didn't know where she was. Frantically, Linda Bosarge tried to follow the little girl's voice. She could hear her. She didn't have no flashlight. She could hear her, but she couldn't see her. By then, the refrigerator had fell on. Bosarge is 71 now, a retired shrimper living in Coden. But even after 40 years, he says, the pain of that night never goes away. He recalls how Eula would climb on top of him while he relaxed on a recliner. Here we get up here and just rub, rub my face. And, um, she tell me she loved me. At four years old. Little Eula's final resting place is here, on a family plot in an unmarked grave. Bosar says his daughter's grave has no headstone because he couldn't afford to buy one at the Odd Fellows Cemetery in Biola Battery, where his mother and brother also are buried. It's not good, you know, when you lose someone like that. You can lose your house. And you can rebuild. But Bosarge knows there's nothing that could replace the girl he called his angel. It was devastating. Reporting from South Mobile County, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.